Hello there. Welcome to the RWLDs for the Systematic Instructional Design. This is actually going to be giving you the foundation for the instructional design process that you're going to be using all semester. Now the real key when you're, instruct when you're creating instruction is you need to figure out what it is you want to do at the end. What kind of outcome do you want to have? You want to identify what is it you want your students to know. You want to know how you're going to assess it. And then you create the pro process that you're going to be using, the teaching process and the learning process that the students are going to go through to learn that and achieve that goal. Problem is that sometimes teachers will do things such as they will um, say, hey, this is a really neat activity. Uh, let's see, which goals can I address? So what I'd like you to do is as you go through this process and you go, and you go through the RWLDs, I've shown you some videos about how you can go out and you identify what it is you want to teach in math in the fourth grade, perhaps, or in science in the fourth grade. And so what you do is you go to the Iowa um, core curriculum and you find the information you need and then you start creating um, design, instructional design, you start creating uh, instruction that will fit those needs. And so we're talking about essential concepts, and those are the, the, the goals that you're trying to get. And then the more specific things, which is a skill, which is a measurable concept. In other words, it's something that's measurable, something you can see that the student is doing. It isn't like, I understand this. It's a matter of, I uh, can do this. <clears throat> I have some videos for you to, to enjoy. And then towards the end, we talk about the standards that go with technology, as well as taking a look at a new, a new format for uh, connecting technology, pedagogy, which is uh, teaching style, and or t teaching strategies, and um, and content knowledge. That's pedagogy, technology, and content knowledge. So it should be really great. I hope that you find that this information is useful to you, and I'll see you in the lecture next week. Bye.